Hi, it's T3 with Ree Morgan, and this is the most powerful Apple iMac in the mid-year refresh, augmented by a 3.4 gigahertz Intel i7 processor that's available to custom order online. Like the rest of the range, the switch to the Sandy Bridge i processors and AMD graphics has greatly improved its performance. But with entry-level iMacs now matching and sometimes exceeding the top end of the last generation, does the home user need something as powerful and as expensive as this? The 2011 iMac retains the form factor of the previous generations with its brushed aluminium body and edge-to-edge -edge glass screen. Around the back, the mini display port is replaced by two Thunderbolt ports, and these are joined by generous four USB 2.0 ports and a single Firewire 800 port. The screen remains unchanged, offering the same 27-inch IPS LED backlit widescreen glossy display. Viewing angles are excellent. You can look at the screen from almost anywhere without the colors shifting. A thousand to one contrast ratio gives you more vibrant colors and deeper blacks too. With a Sandy Bridge quad-core processor, the second second generation of Intel's famous Core i series and an AMD Radeon HD 6970M graphics processor, this top of the range iMac was bound to impress. The top of the range 27 inch Apple iMac with the 3.4 gigahertz Intel i7 processor is a fantastic machine, but it doesn't come cheap at £1,800. Those with high end model needs might be willing to fork out the cash. But with the entry model for 2011 coming at a sub £1,000 and it rivaling the top end model for 2010, one has to question whether home user really needs that much power. Professional designers and video editors will love the huge screen and the powerful processor, but a home user might be happy to punt for a cheaper iMac. For all the latest news, reviews and features on the Apple iMac, keep it locked to t3.com.